I'd like to think there's something in the in in the air at the minute. It seems like it was his 90th birthday just was it a year ago, and uh, and there was a radio a lovely radio documentary done about him. I think a lot of people uh, heard of him obviously through the years with John Peel. I'd say the younger generation maybe don't have such a ready access to Cutler, and I would hope that, and maybe that's what everyone's feeling is that it's time to try and get get him get him up there and out there. And he used to always say that people used to come to, um, to his concerts. Couples would come to his concerts and there would always be one person in the couple. And was, this is certainly not the boy in the couple. You know, there's, there's, you know, whether it be the boy or the girl, there was one person in that, in that couple would, would be taking their partner or prospective you know, fiancé to come and see Ivor Cutler. And if they didn't like it, that marriage probably wouldn't go ahead. <laughs> That's what he's... But you know, I can see, I can see that happening. Although there's, there is there is a script, we've started calling it a script, which is what Paul McCartney called his script for the Magical Mystery Tour. But we've, with only four weeks rehearsals, we decided, and also with a lot of research to do, a lot of time spent in the Poetry Library and the British Library, interviews with people interviewing his life and work partner, um, Phyllis King, Piers Plowright, um, his producer at the BBC, uh, his son Jeremy, so lo lots of really trying to get a much broader picture of, of the man and his work. And then creating this script, which is, uh, which is very much there to be to be part of a devising process whereby you're, you're kind of looking for both form and, and uh, structure, um, but equally a lot of material that you can just throw away and get rid of. And that's really been, you know, the, the, this, the, the thing that we've got in the rehearsal room now. So a lot, a lot will, can and I'm sure will shift between um, last week, the start of rehearsals and the opening show. I would like the audience to feel communicated with but not in a way that they realise that they have been. Possibly more, more, more profoundly underneath the laughter. That would be what Cutler would, would, would want out of an experience. <laughs>